Welcome back, Legendary Batid here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to do custom enchantments using the Universal Minecraft Editor. So here I'm just going to grab various tools and items that you can use to enchant. Once you're happy with your inventory, go ahead, save, exit, and go on to the program. Now that we're on the PC, we're going to open up Universal Minecraft Editor and load up our save as normal. Next, we're going to locate our player in our inventory. As you can see, all our items are here, as so. We can also look at it visually using the inventory quick mod. Anyways, we're going to right click on it and go to enchant, which this is going to let us quickly add enchantments without having to know the MBT format. So as you can see here, there's a list of all the enchantments in the game. So I'm going to put on sharpness 10 here for this sword. As you can see, it automatically updates it and I don't have to worry about anything else. It's all done right there for me and it indicates it in pink that is enchanted correctly. Next, I'm going to give this one knockback 10. This will just knock back the entity 10 times further than normal. I'm also going to put a display name of knockback, just using the display name quick mod. This will put on a custom name without having to use the use of an anvil. For this last one, I'm going to put on smite, which pretty much just makes damage to zombies and skeletons higher. You can put your values to maximum, however I would recommend doing 255 at max. Setting it to maximum value could have some weird side effects on your world, so just keep that in mind. Next I'm going to enchant the bow. I'm going to put on multiple enchantments to show you guys how easy it is to put on more than one at the same time. So here I'm going to put on power 10, I'm going to click on the bow again, and enchant again. As you can see power shows up right away, but we can just switch it to infinity. I'll just switch it to infinity 1 as that's all that's necessary for that enchantment. And then I'm going to throw on Flame, and that's also a level 1 enchantment. So as you can see, I now have 3 enchantments on my bow. Do the Diamond Pickaxe. I'm going to throw multiple enchantments on this one as well. I'm going to throw Unbreaking 255 on this one. Also going to add Silk Touch and Efficiency. Last one here is the Diamond Boots. I'm going to add Unbreaking as well as Depth Strider. As you can see, it's just as simple as that. To add custom enchantments, all you need to do is do this like so, follow the quick mod steps, and you're good to go. Once you're happy with everything, you can go ahead, exit, and save, and load it back onto the Xbox. As you can see, all our tools are now enchanted. If we go ahead and test out each individual one, you will see they have the properties of the enchantments as we expected. So here we're gonna grab a pig and a villager just to test these out for ourselves. So as you can see, this first sword has sharpness 10 on it, made him two hits. The second sword had knockback 10, as you can see the pig flew back pretty far just then. The third one had smite, it's not going to do anything to pigs or villagers. This next one is power, flame, and infinity, as you can see, enchanted as expected. So this next one is efficiency, so if you go into survival for this one, you can see it breaks it pretty quickly, as we'd expect. And the last ones are Depth Strider 10. As you can see, we are swimming as fast as we possibly can, so it works pretty well. So those are all the mods for today. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful for you guys. If it was, make sure you do leave a like on it. It does help out the channel. And uh, make sure you do download the program if you haven't already. And check out the creator, LP. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So have a good one, guys. I'll see you guys next time.